I know you guys see that on the screen, and that right there is my subscribers telling all of you to leave a like on the video right now. Um, just saying. Leave a like. Damn, she she kind of sounds like Craig Meyer. I wonder why she sounds so sad. Now, if you also want to be involved in stuff like this, go ahead and follow my Instagram. Also, join the Discord server because you can definitely find me there as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. What is up, everyone? All right, welcome back to another video on the Pointless YouTube channel. And listen, for today's video, we have a very, very interesting and disturbing topic, if I'm being 100% real with you. Because there is a family that consists of YouTubers, which uh, basically ended up, let's just say, taking out their dog for let's just say not only clout purposes but uh seemingly no reason at all and uh it was nobody at fault but this family i got this idea from a fellow talking channel that goes by the name of the sept that a lot of you guys know and well let's just say i could not pass up the opportunity to talk about how insane this entire situation is so uh make sure you guys sit to the end because you're definitely not gonna want to miss this one bit before we do officially get into the situation make sure to subscribe to the channel because i'm trying to hit you know 20,000 subscribers and you clicking that free red subscribe subscribe button would mean the world to me. It's free and you can always change your mind later. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Now listen, our society doesn't have the smartest human beings ever. So therefore, uh, a very, very massive holy grail uh, on our planet besides a uh, quote unquote humans is pets and animals. And well, one of those pets slash animals that everybody loves and you, you know, you, you can't get enough of is dogs. Now see, dogs are not only there to protect you just in case, you know, somebody tries to uh, harm you, but they are definitely there to be a comfort in a way and you know to be your friend and well they become sort of let's just say a part of your actual family so of course if someone you know purposely harms a dog or you know tries to put it in any sort of danger people are going to get mad and it's going to stir an entire bit of drama on the internet and well that's exactly what happened to the philippi family because not only did they have their dog put down uh, they, they did it for seemingly no reason at all now they made an entire response and there's been numerous articles written on this entire situation so uh yeah i'll play the apology you know later Later on in this video so make sure to stick to the end for that but for now we're gonna read a bit of an article on these people just to get an idea of the entire situation and quote-unquote why they did it in the first place now this article starts off by saying beginning of last week Nikki and Dan Phillippe's dog Bowser was euthanized now for those of you who don't know what euthanized mean it basically means that you put something especially a cat or a dog down uh, let's just say humanely now the article also goes on to say the influencers hopped onto their YouTube channel to tell their subscribers that tail of how they came of the decision. It turns out that a couple of days after a photo shoot with Nikki, Dan, their young son Logan, and Bowser, the dog displayed aggressive behavior towards Logan. Pictures of the photo shoot are all over the couple's social media pages. Now you may be saying, Mr. Pointless, why exactly did uh, Mr. Bowser decide to act so you know ag aggressive with this little child? And well, if I just go ahead and read the part of another article, you will definitely, you know, after reading this, will understand exactly why the dog did what it did. There's only one one thing that could get the internet this riled up, dogs. YouTubers Nikki and Dan Phillippe revealed they had euthanized their nine-year-old dog, Bowser, in a YouTube video on Monday, after an incident in which he bit their one-year-old son, Logan. The dog reacted to Logan taking food from him, the couple said. But the injury wasn't bad, and their son has a little mark. In the moment, I'm thinking I grew up with the movie Old Yeller, and I wanted to pick Bowser up by the back of the neck and take him to the backyard and put him down right then and there. Now, for those of you who aren't too educated on dogs, let me just just tell you something, all right? If you know you do do what Logan did, even though he's a one-year-old, I'm not trying to blame it on him at all. He did not know this would happen, obviously. But being that this innocent little child named Logan just, you know, took this food from this dog, it's going to react being aggressive, and, uh, well, it ended up biting Logan. So I want to know why you, as a parent, would have your one-year-old child around a massive dog that, according to Dan, has, uh, showed signs of being very aggressive in the past with other dogs, and then get mad when this dog goes ahead and acts normally aggressive towards this child because it, it did something that of course triggered it and then you want to go ahead and put down the dog simply because you not oh, not the dog not the dog or the kid you messed up by letting the dog and the kid even be anywhere close to each other you know i can't get enough of 2021 man it's it's a crazy year i thought 2020 was bad but uh something is just wrong with this year already now you see i can understand how this parent would you know get mad at this because it's it's his kid i mean he doesn't want it to get in any harm at all 
all. But you see, this is a situation you pretty much caused. I mean, you can't get mad and, you know, decide to end this dog's life simply because of that. And you see, I'm not the most educated on dogs or anything like that, but I know there were totally, you know, better situations or solutions that could have happened besides taking the dog's life. Because, you know, not only can you give these dogs away if you know you may not be able to properly take care of them, you can also get dogs better trained. And they avoided both of these options and decided to, you know what, just let the, let's go ahead and put down the dog. Let's do that. But you know what adds the icing on the cake is because right before they decided to, you know, completely end this dog's life, they decided to go ahead and post the, the, the photo shoot they've been mentioning all over Instagram, all over their social medias, and just decided to run with it. Now, you know, a point that I saw Decept bring up, which I just wanted to go ahead and, you know, mention in this video, is the fact that their channel wasn't, let's just say, the most active right before they decided to do what they did with their dog. But ironic enough, as soon as this stuff comes out and they publicly decide to bring this to the public, you know, and decide to spread this entire story, their views just skyrocket. And when I say skyrocket, I mean shoot up by the hundreds and hundreds of thousands. And you know, I'm not one of those people to think everything that happens that is bad is done for clout that is put on the internet. But I find it ironic that these people decide to, you know, bring this entire little unfortunate situation to the public, which they know will definitely go viral being that people don't, you know, play around with their animals. And they get a million views on this video, probably nearing two now. And their views, and I'm pretty sure money are just skyrocketing right now. They're getting a nice amount of profit from this. So say whatever you want, but I definitely don't buy the fact that these people are bringing this situation public to, so, you know, to remember the dog because he already said he wanted to, you know, take this dog's life anyways. Once this pretty much accident caused by the father happened, uh, it, it, it's ridiculous. I don't buy for one second that you guys are simply bringing this public to remember the dog. They definitely tried to come forward with an apology just to sympathize themselves. There is no, you know, remorse for what the dog ended up having to go through. There, there's none of that, all right? There definitely isn't. Now, obviously, people were furious about this, and they still are, and these people have just completely went ghost on the internet after this has happened because they can't handle the heat, and they're over there stacking up racks on top of racks because of their dog's untimely passing. It's honestly ridiculous, and, and my brain can't even comprehend this. Now, they ended up, like I said, making their apology, and instead of me sitting here and talking for the next, you know, two more minutes uh, like I usually do, I'm gonna let you guys get a glimpse at this apology and how overall just you can tell staged it is in the first place because these people, you can tell, don't feel any remorse for this. The fact that they just took this situation and handled it the way they did is so obvious based off of what their true intentions were. You can just tell. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, tune into this quote-unquote apology. Hi, guys. <laughs> I feel, um, awkward <clears throat> just, like, opening this video. I don't even... There is no cheery way to open this video. Not only can I tell by that little, you know, cringy laugh she just did at the beginning of this video, but by looking at this guy's face and telling he can barely hold back his laughter, I, I can tell these people have no remorse. They don't care at all about what they've done. Like, as I play more of the video, you will definitely be able to tell and just look at him and see that he is trying to hold back his laughter, like, desperately. It's like the whole entire manner of this video is a joke. I can't take it serious, look at it, and be like, oh, yeah, these these guys are sincerely sorry. I, I don't see that at all. It's literally just two quote unquote adults. Quotes because they aren't acting like adults in this entire situation that are just sitting there seemingly just taking this situation as some sort of a joke and, and, and just not taking it serious at all. You know, man, the, the audacity of some people. Like, you guys are literally only making money right now simply because of the fact that you just took the life of your dog. Thank your dog because your channel is finally getting views again. And so. We're here today to share with you um, what's been going on in our life. Now, you you already know, I mean, by the title, well, no, you don't know by the title, but you know if you follow us on Instagram. Um, and so I'm just gonna jump to the point and then we're gonna back up and tell you the story and explain. Um, so over Alright, you know, honestly, I'm done with this video. I can't stand looking at his face any longer. You can tell he's literally trying his hardest not to smile. Anyways, that's all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, and if you do decide to like the video, excuse me, also subscribe. Because I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers, and like I said, you doing that would mean the world to me. Anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.